It feels so good to be back in the swing of things. I was out of town and I got COVID. So we had to come home and immediate isolate. So I feel like I haven't been in the kitchen in a couple weeks and uh, it really needs some attention. We're a family of seven and thankfully our kids were old enough to help take care of us and keep the house going. But when it comes to the refrigerator and the pantry, I think it missed me. So my goals today are for me to find a new solution for the cheese because that's getting out of control. Um, organize the pantry because it just needs a good restocking and also try to find a new solution for the berries. So I'm gonna try something new. So let's see how it goes. This is a new container I got for the cheese and then also I have all the containers for the berries. So I'm gonna clean them up and get the labels off. I've had a few people ask if I'd include some of my grocery shopping in one of my videos. So here's a quick peek. I definitely did not include it all, but I generally buy all of my healthy stuff from one store and, and it's usually about 80% of the food that we eat. And then I make a quick stop at another store and get some snacky foods that the kids really like. Comment below and let me know what you do with your reusable bags when you're done with them. I always have to stop and fold them up and uh, toss them in a container that I have. So let me know what you do. So here's the full grocery haul. You'll notice I don't have any meats. We always get those mail order. So um, this is mostly all fruits, vegetables, dairy products, and some snacks.
I don't wash my bins every time I grocery shop, but since it's been a while, I decided to take everything out, go through it, wash some of the bins so I can kind of start fresh. I really like these dissolvable labels. They work so great. They work on all of my containers. And for these eggs, it was nice because one of my sons put the eggs in here, put the date on the back of the container so that we knew when these eggs expired and it was easy for me to know what to do with them. So they're so easy to clean off and I highly recommend them. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check them out. With organization, sometimes you just have to compromise. And with the cheese, I could not get it all to fit in this new container that I got. So what I did was I put the grab and go cheese with the fruit and then all other cheese is gonna go in the main part of the fridge in the new container. So a happy compromise. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me out and it helps support my channel. Thank you. I always like to chop some produce and have it in a bin ready to go. So if we ever making a last minute meal and throwing something together, we have some items to put in there and we're good to go.
While this looks a little crazy, this is actually pretty organized. We have the um, a bunch of ice creams that are sitting on top that need to be organized, so that's the first thing I'll do. But for the most part, we have meats and proteins on the left of the bottom drawer. We have vegetables and fruit on the right-hand side. There's a lot there, so um, I have to just try to keep it organized, but we really need to eat that stuff up. And then the top drawer has mostly ice creams and some uh, meal prep or leftovers that we have in there. So just gonna tidy it up a bit, but not much work needs to be done here. Ever since I redid this pantry, I just love it. Everything has a place and generally everything is in its place. Um, we were just really missing out on some groceries and to be honest, I think I'm the only one that really will take things out of packages and put them where they belong and I don't mind doing it, I just wasn't here to do it. So I'm playing catch up a little bit, trying to get things out of their boxes and fill some of these containers, but it should tidy up pretty quick.
With all these different containers, the chips, the nuts, the crackers, and the popcorn, I always try to keep things that are open towards the front and anything that's closed and still sealed in the back so that we always rotate through the food. This shelf is always the hardest one to keep organized because there's just so much here. We have a lot of different allergies, so we'll have a lot of different um, nut butters, um, different flours, baking um, products. And so for that reason, we have a lot that has to fit into this small space. Again, we're a very large family. So doing my best here, I still feel like I can do better and maybe pare down some of this, but for now, I'm just gonna get this organized so that we're back in business without having a mess on our hands. I feel so much better now knowing that everything's organized and restocked and the family's ready to go. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.